Now to a story we first saw in Harper's Bazaar magazine about counterfeit perfume. The fake perfume market has grown so big it now has a street value of nearly $7 million, and you are going to be shocked to find out what's actually in those bottles. Elizabeth Leamy has more. If the things are cheap, I will buy them. That's right, bargain hunters from New York to New Mexico to the new frontier of the Internet often buy counterfeit merchandise even though they know it's fake. But wait till you hear what's been found in counterfeit perfume. Active ingredients found in counterfeit fragrance include things like urine, bacteria, antifreeze. Valerie Salambier is the publisher of Harper's Bazaar. She and her staff have been investigating counterfeit luxury goods for more than six years now. Their latest target, fake fragrances. If you're putting something on your face, on your neck, on your wrists, those are sensitive parts of the body. Authorities in Britain and Ireland tested fake fragrances they seized and detected urine. Experts speculate it's used as a pH balance stabilizer and for its color. No, it's the last time I will be buying any perfume. Dermatologist Jeanette Graff says she's never seen reactions from real perfumes, but fake ones can cause contact dermatitis, welts that look like this. I have seen reactions because they're not regulated. And Dr. Graff says she's beginning to see more cases because counterfeit perfumes are so easy to get online. They will invariably say that they felt different as soon as they put it on. They felt burning. They saw redness. It felt uncomfortable. It didn't smell right.